In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can make 3D logos with no skill. So if you head over to techstudio.com, you will come across this amazing online 3D text logo generator. Now there's two types, obviously there's the free version and the paid version. Anytime you see a crown in the corner, that means you need to pay for it. But to be honest, they give you a ton of free samples. So I really don't think you need to stress out when you're first starting off. I mean, later on, I'll show you why you may want to upgrade to a paid version. So I just typed in grips and I will let the software do the magic just by simply clicking this magic wand. And it gives you a host of samples of what you may want to create. Now you can just keep saying, add more, add more, add more. There's no limit to how much it can generate. But let's just stop it there. Let's grab something that we think we can work with. So obviously I'm working with the free version. So I'm looking for something with no crown. I'm going to click on here. And I now have options to stylize it, customize it, remove the background. If I can, if I want to just use that logo, I will then use a PNG or a transparent background. I can also animate it. I can make it blink. I can make it flip. Now, obviously it says, well, now you need to pay version. So there are some times where you think I must have this. Well, then the premium version comes into effect. But look at the amount of free stuff that they give you. It is absolutely amazing. I'm over the moon about this on how easy it is to use. Let's keep moving. You may wish to create your very own text logo from scratch. To do so, simply go to text editor. You'll be greeted again with this little panel and over here, we can simply change whatever font that we're after. Let's grab this one for this example. And over here, we have the basic controls of zooming it in and out and character spacing. And if I have more than one line, I can also do line spacing. Rotation as well, in case I want to have it left or right or even upside down. Who cares? Also, I can go into the styles here and I can start messing with the colors. I may want red or I may choose a gradient. So in that case, I can move the gradient anywhere I want. Like so, let's just stick with the basis of red. But I may wish to add a pattern, a unique pattern, so I can actually import an image and use that as a pattern overlay. Lettering as well, I can boggle the letters to basically like this. That's a pretty cool feature. So as you can see, you have a lot of opportunity and 3D projections. So this is basically the extrude and directions and color of that extrusion. So this is one way you could simply build up your own text. But if you have skill, you probably wouldn't need this. And like I mentioned in the beginning, no skill required. So let's just keep doing that. So let's just use whatever the software can generate. We also have here groups. So let's go to graffiti. And as you can see, you'll see many types of different graffiti. We may want to use this one here, click on it and voila. And then all I need to do is in the text editor, just change it. And again, I have full control of what I want to do, make it bigger, smaller, change the background, animate it and so forth. I may even wish to change the font. Let's do that. So the text editor is basically designed. It does all the heavy lifting for you. So you don't need to. Another cool feature that it offers is vectors and Photoshop files. In other words, you can choose any of these and then download it and put it into your, say, Adobe Illustrator or your Photoshop. So I simply just downloaded this one and here it is in my Photoshop. So I can customize this now to whatever style, get it, style, that works for me. And that is so cool. And again, this is totally for free. Once you have finished with your logo, obviously you wish to download it. Now there's a few options, obviously, if you did get the premium, you can download in a higher quality. But for now, we're going to stay with normal and I'll show you a few options, which is pretty cool. If you do create an account, you can save it to your account. I'm not really sure what this does. It looks almost like a PSD file, but I'll show you something that is pretty cool. Copy image. Let's go into the Photoshop. Let's make sure we're right at the top and we're going to paste it straight in here. And there you go. It's ready to use in whatever project you want to use. So let's go back and let's have a look at one other thing. So we can also put it on an image. So I'm just going to quickly drag a picture onto here and look, there it is. Isn't that neat? <laughs> it's pretty funky. So if you just want to use a PNG or JPEG, just click here. And there you go, my friends, if you want to get creative, well, actually let it do the work for you. Cause like me, I have no idea how to create logos, but I can do now and make it look professional. And as always, thanks for joining.